is up, my Pop Tarts? This is Trix on Seven Seven Blues. Today, I'm here to announce a developing process for a new emulator called the Citra Emulator, or as known as the 3DS Emulator. Oh Lord! Before I get into any details, I would love to give a huge shout out to my good friend. Go Goku Seven. He was one who provided me the link to this YouTube video that basically shows clips from the emulator itself. So thank you so much, Go Goku Seven, and I'll I'll fulfill that promise. I'll fulfill that promise. Probably next week, a couple of episodes might come out. Who knows? Now, as I said before, this program is still in development process. Therefore. It's not released yet. Now, if you want to support this um, emulator, this I have all the links below. You can go to their website, or if you're a developer yourself and you want to help out, want to speed up the uh, development process, then there's another link link below for you to download the source code, I believe. So you can just go down to the links, go to the video description, do all that jazz and everything. But yeah, for my take takes against this emulator, oh my god. This is gonna save me a lot of money. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna save me a lot of money. Okay, in, in case you guys didn't know, well, <laughs> there's uh there's these 3DS capture cards that are on sale out there and everything. You can either uh, buy a new 3DS with the capture card pre-installed, or if you already have a 3DS or a 3DS XL, all you have to do is pay over $250, basically paying for another system, and uh, you know they'll let they'll install the board for you, which is ugh, it's gonna take like a month to like get my stuff back. So, but since the emulator is gonna is sore around the corner. I can't really say I'm not really too keen on the release le release date. It's gonna happen. It's happening. It's, it's happening probably in a couple of months. Let's just say this is my prediction right now. But um, as as you can tell from the video, I think it says that it's playing in uh, uh speed times ten. Therefore, the uh the whole gameplay is is playing in two frames per second. I mean. <laughs> At least they got the game running, all right. At least they got the freaking game running. Hallelujah! It's just, I'm just so excited, all right. This is gonna save us, save majority of the Let's Players a lot of money, which is amazing. <laughs> now the question is, will your PC be able to handle this application? And I did some research. I mean, it's it's already on the website, but. Based off the website, it says that you need the fastest possible processor that you have in your disposal, along with a graphics card that supports op uh, supports OpenGL3. Now, please take this with a grain of salt, because, like I said, this game is still in development process. Okay, so this could change. This software is still in development, so. Let's just sit back and relax and see if anything new comes up when it comes to hardware specs. Hopefully it's not something too demanding like an i7 or something similar like the Dolphin emulator where it hogs a lot of CPU power from your CPU. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully the 3 as emulator is nothing identical to the Dolphin. I hope it's almost like the the Desume emulator, which is the Nintendo DS emulator, where everything just runs smoothly and everything like that in 60 frames. Yeah. Oh boy. Hopefully it's like that. Now that's all I have to share today with you guys. If you guys want more information, I have all the links. Ah the links in the video description. So if you're interested and or if you're a developer who wants to help out in, uh, in this project, like I said, all the links are in the description, so make sure to check them out. Now, everybody, tell me what you think about the Nintendo 3DS emulator or the Citra emulator. Do you despise emulators? Do you think this emulator will benefit your channel? I mean, it will certainly benefit mine when it comes to money, so. <laughs> Oh boy, I can't wait for this thing to come out. So, I mean, I'm all I, I'm all for emulators and everything because I mean, it gives 
majority of, of us let's players let's play games that we really want to let's play even though we lost the game somewhere in a room or something like that or if the game is rare and unfortunately you have to pay a lot of money for like 60 bucks depends on the game and all that stuff i mean come on emulators are there for you there are your friends in my book but anywho like i said what do you think about nintendo 3ds emulators and that is all for today. This is Tricks and Sign signing out. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Peace out, my Pop-Tarts.